Okay, this is the Vantage light, and now um, I'm going to show you how to turn the Vantage light on. I have an assistant. Will you help me turn the Vantage I'm light sad, on? Man. You're crying. Okay. And as you can see, it has turned on. Okay, once you've once you've turned it on, and if you would like to change the volume, where's the rest of her? You can go to the tool setting and click. And right now our system is locked, so you have to hold for five seconds. And now, in order to get in order to get the volume in the lower right hand corner, there's a speaker volume up and a speaker volume down, and you press that to get up higher or lower. When you're done, you press OK. I know. Look, look at me. Okay, in order to make edits, then you would have to press on the maintenance <gasps> on the me. maintenance button right Hi. here. And that will bring you to the, you the core in which you can make alterations and settings. I'm going to lift up his uh, key guard just for the minute so you can see what I'm doing. Um, if you would if you want to lock the system so a student can't get into the settings, you'd have to go to Maintenance Menu. From Maintenance Menu, there's a System Lock Settings button, which you'd click on, and then a System Lock Off or On. If you click On and OK, and OK one more time to confirm, and you're back to your, your Settings key, and if you try to do something, it'll tell you that you can't do it. So that way, if a student were to accidentally press this tool button up here and get into there, he couldn't do much other than come back to the main page. Okay, so I'm going to show how to hide buttons, hide sequences on the uh, Vantage light. So to do that, you would press the, the two setting button, and it, would, it will put right here, hide or show keys. When I click hide or show keys, right now I have two that are already hidden. I want to undo those. And for for purposes of this demonstration, I want to work on saying good morning with a student. And so I'm going to just only hide um, the keys that aren't used in the sequence. So I'm going to click hide all to start. Dear Mary. Then click the sequence that I want him to be able to say. Mary. Um, and that should be, I also want him to go back, and, yeah. So then once I'm done, I'm going to click, it says select text area to exit, so I'm going to click up here, and now I've hidden only, or I've hidden all of the, the icons except the ones that I want him to work I on. So when I click this, I can get to, good morning. Okay. The activity row stays the same. Um, then those won't move or be hidden. Dear Kim. <laughs> Dear Mary. Now to unhide, Mary. I'm going to go back to two. Mary. Go back to hide or show keys. Click show all. And then the hide show text area edit. Dear Kim, thanks for being That's with it. us. Thanks for being mm -hmm. with us. Okay, so there are two different ways in which you can get to an icon tutor, which tells you how to find an icon if you don't know where the sequence to find it. You click down at the woman down here. This is the first way. And then this book right here, this purple color, which doesn't really show up in any of the other icons, you click icon tutor. From there, it will give you something to look for. I'm, for this example, I'm looking for the word turn. I'm click. I'm going to go ahead and type it in. And then it says enter word and select OK. So I select OK. And then you can't see with the key card. It gives me I have to go to cooking and then click the the man with the wheel the turn button. So if I want to go back and check that out, I press OK to get out of that screen. I'm gonna to go to the cook symbol here. And then there's the man with the turn. And then it finds it for me. The other way in which you can do that 
is by going through the settings. So if you go up here, if it's not locked, and then from there you go review vocabulary menu. Let me turn this up so you can see. There's update icon tutor, search icon tutor, or icon tutor advanced setting. I'm going to go ahead and go to search icon tutor. And then from there I get a keyboard in which I can also find. So again, I'm going to try to find the word turn. It has a regular QWERTY keyboard. I've typed it in. It says select OK. So I go to the bottom and press OK. And then it gives me the same sequence that I can find for.